Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Tunnel Runner for the Atari 2600. In the first video, we played through Game Mode 1, and now it is time to go through Game Mode 2. So, let me change to Game 2 here. Which allows us to have all random mazes all the time. I have no idea what to expect here. And I'm going to reset to start the game. Okay. The key's right there. We're over there. And I'm going to make sure that I can stop at this intersection. Where are you going to go? Okay, we're going to get that. And then we're going to run our way over to here. That is a teleporter. And this is going to be the exit. So let's go ahead and take it. So we've got nine points so far. Well, 161 points now because I had a lot of time left. And we're now at run two. But once again, this is going to be pretty easy so far. We are now all the way on that end of the maze. And I'm really going to have to pay attention to the map here. So I can figure out where I need to go and also get the... Hmm, did I get the key? I think I got the key. Huh, I got the key when I teleported. That was lucky. Well, run three it is. And let's see where we are now. Oh, we're all the way to that corner there, and I don't even know where the monsters are. Okay. There's a teleporter. And we need to start running. And get through that door. Apparently, all of the Zots were coming after me right then and there. Really had to concentrate because I had no idea what to expect from there. We are now at run four. Once again, we don't know where the Zots are. And let's see here. Nope. No, no, I wanted to turn game. Ah, uh, I should have held the fire button. Well. No. Ah. Uh, really, game? Now I'm all the way over there. Yeah, the game can be very, very mean to the player. Okay. Now, hopefully... Let's work on we can loop around here. And we can go this way. Excellent. Where does that take us? Well, that will allow us to teleport. Don't know exactly where it will take us. Ah, there we are. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... No! I don't want you here. Okay. And here should be the exit. I can't believe I lost two lives that way. And now it is time for run five. And this time, I know where the key and the enemies are. I just can't find the paths. And I will have to explore to get through them.
And this should take me to the key. Excellent. Now I just need to make my way to the east. And there's the door. Well, that was fun. I also really love these little first... These first person sequences where you just run through the exit and then into the corridor leading to the next screen there. That's really awesome. It's like you're really escaping only to find out you're in another maze. Okay. Got away from those enemies. We need to find a way over. And I guess I might as well teleport. See where I'm at. Apparently this is where I started. And I do not want to go that way because I do not want to go back to the previous level. Okay. Thankfully, I am able to go this way. There's another teleporter. I guess I might as well take it. Where am I? Ah, uh, dead. That's where I am. Well, that was fun and unexpected. Didn't expect the run to end like that. I had a really good thing going with Run Sick there, and I was almost about ready to make my way to the end there and then see if I can make it back to Run 10 or something maybe. I don't even know. But this game does get pretty hard pretty quick. The game has a lot of levels, although it crashes after the 129th one. What else? The CBDB door I found in the last video... Those are the initials of the programmer and the guy's wife at the time. And this game is also one of three to have RAM Plus from CBS Electronics. I want to believe that the port of Omega Race is one of them, and the other one is Mountain King or something of that name. I forget what the exact, exact name is. I'll have to edit it into the video, but... I know that there are only two other games with RAM Plus. Might as well go ahead and throw those facts in for free. So, fun game. Especially if you know what to do. Know what you're doing. And you know how to get through the even harder dungeons of the game. The even harder runs. The graphics are alright. You can tell what stuff is. You can tell where you're going. There's not a lot of sound, but... It does what it should. It is rather functional. I do like that when enemies are nearby, you hear music. And you can just check the map and hopefully get away from them. Sometimes. Play control is alright. Once you figure out that you can use the fire button for the map to stop yourself whenever you need to, it makes the game a bit easier. And you'll probably have quite a bit of fun with this game. You may find yourself playing this game for several minutes. And maybe picking it up again after that just to see how far you can go. There is a bit of replay value to this. Thankfully, there are two game modes. One full of nothing but preset mazes. And the other one full of mazes that are entirely random every time you play. So I'm glad that there's a game mode for when you want random maps. And a game mode for when you don't. And is this worth picking up? Absolutely. It may be from 1983. I feel that if this game came out a few years earlier or a few years later, people might remember this one. People might talk about this one more often. Ah, oh well. What can you do? But that is it for Let's Play Tunnel Runner. I will post a long play for Game 1 and a long play for Game 2 for those who just want the game footage. And hopefully, I will come back with another game. 
Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad, maybe it'll be somewhere in between, who knows. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys later!